I recorded a series of videos in which I try to address some of the important questions about magic that people have, about magic and its place in society today. And yet there's one question which I haven't directly addressed and one which for some people is the most important one of all. In fact, they don't want to know anything more about magic. They have no interest in it unless this question is answered. And that is, can magic perform miracles? You know the sort of thing. You have done a ritual or done some alternative healing or something and you're feeling much better the next day. And people will say, ah, but are you sure it was your ritual that caused you to be better? How do you know you wouldn't have got better anyway? And so on and so forth. Basically, you can only answer that question by setting up a whole lot of sort of rather artificial laboratory conditions, test conditions. And if your objective was to get better, why the hell are you going to bother to do all that? Put it, it's boiled down to its most extreme. Basically, they're saying, can magic prove that science is wrong? Can magic break the laws of physics? Now, when I put it as bold as that, I think you can understand why I think it is the wrong question. It is a misguided question. Does that mean then I can forget it? No, because actually I think it's a question which comes from quite an important place. It's a very understandable, very human question, even if I think it is misguided. So let's take it to the extreme. Imagine that as a magician you've decided the most important thing you want in your life is to become rich. So you do a spell to become a, that you want to be a billionaire with a 200 foot yacht. And the next day a letter comes through the post from a faraway land saying that a distant relative you didn't know anything about has died leaving you sole heir. And he happens to be a billionaire and he's got a 200 foot motor yacht. I think most of us would be pretty pleased that our magic has worked if that happened. And yet the same questions would apply. How do you know it was your ritual that made this happen? After all, if he's written you into his will, he must have done that months ago before you did this ritual, before even the idea of being a billionaire came to you, and so on. You see, what those questions are asking is that you should prove that magic broke the laws of physics. Um, now, to do that, you would have to set up a whole lot of extra conditions. Um, you can't, for, for instance, the motor yacht would have to appear. You have to, at a specific time, in a specific place, not just sort of here that you've got one in Australia. Any bit. Um, in order to prove that it was the magic that happened rather than just um, coincidence. Uh, so you would have to have you know, a whole lot of witnesses around a marina standing there, objective witnesses taking notes and recording, and the yacht would just have to appear like that, already registered in your name. But you can't have a paper trail going back because that would mean it had happened beforehand. So, weird, you know. <laughs> Um, put like that, you can see this really is asking a bit much, uh, it's a bit far-fetched. But I don't think I could just dismiss this question, as I say, because it's a very human question. And deep down it is an interesting question. I'll explain it in terms of my idea of the four cultures in this way. Imagine that you speaking to a young kid. I don't know, seven, eight, nine. And you say, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they say, I want to be a scientist. Ah, oh, for a kid of that age, that's an impressive thing. Yeah, encouraging that. Um, why do you want to be a scientist? And they answer, because I want to prove that God doesn't exist. How do you respond to that? Now, I don't think anyone interested in my videos is likely to say, oh, 
That is blasphemy. No. Get down on your knees and pray forgiveness for thinking of something as wicked as that. But on the other hand, some people might feel they want to point out to the kid that that's not what science is all about. You know, you're going to be rather disappointed. Um, but in a way, that's a pity because wanting to be a scientist is a good ambition. And wanting to prove that God doesn't exist is actually a rather, it's misguided, but it's a rather magnificent ambition, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure Nietzsche would be rather proud of a kid saying, he wants to prove that God doesn't exist. Um, so I wouldn't stamp on that. In fact, if that is the impulse that makes him go on and become a great scientist, that's terrific. But the thing is, he's going to find out that actually science doesn't prove whether God exists or not. Science might produce a lot of evidence that he doesn't need God in order to explain things. but I think any serious scientist would tell him that does God exist is just not a scientific question. They'd even say it's meaningless in scientific terms. And I feel similarly about this question of can magic break the laws of physics? That it's a totally misguided question as far as I'm concerned and yet I think it deserves some respect because it is such a natural question it is such a profound question in some ways. And so I'm going to address it in another two videos. Now the first video is looking at one very specific question and that is how the public's attitude to the miraculous has changed just in my own lifetime. Things that I've observed. I think a really profound shift is taking place. And I'm basing that on presentation I gave to a group of magicians and I don't mean occult magicians I mean conjurers and it's about the audience for conjuring how it is changing in my lifetime and I give various examples of that and then in the third video I actually directly address and discuss the question of to what extent can impossible things happen by doing magic and I refer back to some of the examples so it does follow on from the previous video. So that is what I'm setting out to do. A question which I feel is misguided but it does deserve to be considered and I'm doing it in three videos of which this is the first.